Hi guys, how are you doing today? Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to install this Jira software server um, as I mentioned in the last video. So uh, last video, we looked into how to install the cloud versions while in this video, we're going to install this on our local machine. In this case, I'm going to install it on my Windows. So um, to get started, uh, I'm going to go back to show you where I got this one from. So here you can see that this is the Jira software that search uh, I search on the Google and last video we look into the cloud versions and in this video we're gonna click with this link to download the Jira software. So when I click on that here you can see that uh, we have the uh, two options. So one is the long term support release. Uh, this case, this is the version uh, 8.5.5 that is recommended for the large organization looking for long-term support. While this one, on the other hand, it's uh, the release uh, latest release uh, 8.10.0, recommended for teams who want to uh, try or to want the latest uh, Jira features. So I'm going to go with this one here, and I can just select on the Windows 64-bit. Uh, so just select that one and click on the download button and I need to agree to the uh, license agreement and privacy policy here it is uh, it's now downloading you can see it's around 400 megabyte so I'll wait uh, until this finish and then we continue with this uh, tutorial Alright, the installation file has been downloaded and to install this, uh, make sure that you just don't click on this file right here just to install it. You need to install this as administrator, uh, otherwise you will get this error message saying that you don't have permission uh, to this such and such. So um, now let's just go back and try to run this as administrator. So here this is the file, uh, what you need to do, you just need to right click on the file right here and then run as administrator. It's now preparing to install. Next, I would choose with the express install with the default uh, settings. So here it asks me whether um, the network, I would choose this as uh, private networks, allow access. And here this is the default port, uh, HTTP, which is 8080. And now let's just click on the install button. Right, the installation is complete and now just click on the next button to start Jira software. So launching Jira software. Alright, so click on this finish button. Alright, so after waiting for a few minutes, uh, you can see that it automatically start up the server and if in case that uh, the server is uh, already closed or it's down, then what you need to do is that you have to manually um, start up the server. So again, here is this uh, the folder. Uh, I install it on the dry C and a program file, the uh, Alashens and this is the location which is uh, the second one, Jira. So double click on that, you can see that it says uh, you don't have permission to access that and just click on this uh, continue button. Alright, so now we are here. Um, you can see there's a lot of files and folders. So the one that we're looking for is the bin folder. Click on that and you can see that we have a lot of um, bad file. Uh, here we are looking for the one which says the uh, startup.bat the bat file bat so here this is the one and also you can see that we have the one which says uh, shutdown as well so to run this file um, what you can do uh, make sure again don't double click on this one because we need to run this as administrator so to run this as administrator you would need to open your uh, terminal so just search for the command prompt 
and right click on this one here and uh, select the run as administrator so now we run this as administrator you can see here as well on top so um, to first uh, we need to navigate to uh, this folder right here so just click on that Control C to copy that and here we need to navigate to it so just uh, type CD paste that here we are now in this folder to run the file we need to look for which is this name right here startup.bat so to um, start this up we need to just say startup.bat just like that but the thing is that right now the server is already up I'll show you instead how to shut it down so this is the one click on that okay so now you can see that um, basically for the Jira it using the Tomcat server so uh, when I go back here and try to refresh you would see that the server shut down okay so this is uh, what you can see right now and to start it up um, again just uh, navigate to the same folder and instead of shutdown dot uh, but I'm gonna go with the startup dot bat file and it's starting up all right so this is um, all the information about the software it's starting up with this okay so now let me just uh, refresh this again pretty uh, much the same as the previous video on how to um, set it up so I'll just quickly gonna set it up for you as well uh, select the first one here continue to my um, election it asked me with the Jira software yes uh, server data center I'm gonna select this one here up and running with the server ID generate the license yes so you can see that it just uh, connected to the web uh, the website and then now it come back to the local host I just need to enter my email username and then uh, click on the next button alright it's ready to go uh, click on this let's get started I can s select my language basically this is the same as the previous one I show you in the last video as well Jira on local alright so I'm not gonna go through um, this like how to create this one by one and how to use it because it's I would say it's uh, almost exactly the same um, the difference is that let me just open my um, server one the cloud versions uh, as well as this and then compare you a little bit what the main difference is I just create like a new issue and then start a new sprint just to show you like um, comparing between the two like this is the one on the cloud versions and while well, this is the uh, local one which we have full access to this so I'm gonna start the sprint quickly uh, 10 days two weeks time starting from this date click on that so if we have um, the three columns like that so I'm going to go back to the backlog for now um, so just comparing so here you can see that right here we have all of this icon and um, this is says like a Jira software with the blue while this is on the white one just comparing between the two like um, you can see uh, like how different they are okay so here um, it says active while this one it doesn't say anything uh, also for this one here this is the apex uh, I did not add it 
here so that's why you can't see anything so when I just click on this uh, it will open up the right hand side uh, the same for this one when I click on this it do the same on the right so um, we have all of this uh, detail with the comments uh, description and comments here as well okay so um, right here this one we have uh, we can basically open this in a new tab while on the cloud versions you let me just close this one so here there's no option to uh, open this in a new tab when I right click on this not at all you can see this is the difference right click this there's more option here by doing so we can have the full look on this uh, story uh, on this uh, issue okay let me just close this one and then uh, quickly go to the admin area just select this go to uh, systems so here we are now in the system which uh, have access to the administrator Alright, so here I am in this um, administration area. I'm going to do the same for the one on the cloud versions. So this is the free version for the cloud. Alright, on cloud versions, we have all of this information. So I'm looking for the one with is the security. So security, we have these three options right here when I scroll down you can see for the security there's a lot more option compared to the uh, free version which is this cloud one and um, there's a lot more here so on the local versions we have the whitelist um, option while this one nope not at all okay so uh, here uh, we can basically add this uh, I'll, I'll try to uh, explain you what whitelisting is uh, in the future video but for now I just let you know that for the one that we installed on the local version we have a lot of options uh, compared to the one that we have here on the cloud one the cloud versions so um, I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial um, in the next video we might look into more in depth uh, it can be the um, API as well like uh, Jira API how does it work and stuff uh, for now that's it for this tutorial hope you learn something from this again until then see you guys in the next video